Uh, my name is Michelle. Um, I've been I graduated seven years ago in 2009 and I'm currently working for TGM. So my name is Rowan Moodley. I um, graduated in 2010, so, so, so seven years, six years so I've been uh, working uh, in the profession. And in addition to that, while I was at uni, I worked uh, for a couple of years as a casual assistant. Uh, well, when I finished high school, I wanted to go to uni and do a degree that had a really practical outcome at the end of it. I wanted to get a job at the end of uni and surveying was one of the few degrees that offered that. Uh, well, to be honest, I'd, I was finishing up my science degree and um, I didn't really know where to go after that post-science and I was doing well in maths and I just happened to see a course in my final year, Geomatics. Geomatics 1A, it required a lot of maths and I took it and as I say the rest is history. I think my role as a surveyor will constantly change as I develop skills. You have to constantly evolve through the various spheres. When you graduate from a tertiary institution you can expect to spend a lot of time in the field, uh, doing traditional field surveys for a variety of purposes. Uh, from there, you have the option to uh, go into professional training agreements to become licensed or registered. At that point, you'll probably uh, develop your skills and to, be, to become more project managerial and spend more time in the office and start to learn to advise uh, clients and be more of a consultant. Now, obviously, the next step is to, to move on to my PTA and uh, become a licensed surveyor. So I've done one of my four projects so far and I've got a couple more that are coming through. Who knows from there, I might stay with PGM. There's so many options once you become licensed of what you would like to do. Uh, by the time you become licensed or registered, uh, you really start to become a, a dedicated consultant, consultant offering professional advice uh, to your clients and the other stakeholders in a project. In terms of the community, uh, there are boundless rules that, that we need to um, that we need to follow in terms of title, in terms of uh, the cadastre as we call it. And the moment we move away from that, it'll lead to anarchy. Uh, we have various planning rules, various surveying rules that we uh, uphold and we, we we try to maintain for the betterment of the community. Um, I probably really like enjoy cadastral surveying the most. Um, Definitely rural jobs as well, getting out out of town and getting in to see some different interesting areas um, that you might not normally get to go to. Yeah. The, the top level of senior surveyors are all 50 plus and they'll be retiring very soon and it's very important that more graduates come through and, and improve the talent pool. Obviously the younger graduates that come through bring a lot more resources in terms of technology, in terms of innovation. Uh, and, and just the thought process, we need those graduates to come through and, and, it's, and it's important that they do. There is definitely a strong demand for new surveyors and graduate surveyors all the time. Ever since I've worked in the industry, there has been. We need graduates from universities uh, to address the impending knowledge drain uh, that we're facing from the, the retirement of uh, licensed surveyors that we're expecting in the next couple of years. Yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to do surveying at university. Um, it definitely gives me a really varied job to carry out day to day and you get to work with some great people as well. 